you got to want God. And you got to want to please him. I was, I was just praying that way this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't care what your call, your title, or your status is. You, you never get to the place that you think you're good. I don't care who you are. Amen. Uh, when you get to that point, you lost. You lost. When you can uh, sit and judge, right. you ain't right with God. Amen. You can convince yourself you are, but you are greatly deceived. Should never, you should never graduate from the altar. Amen. Ever. If you can't come to the altar, you got a pride and an image problem. Amen. <laughs> That's just the true church. If you can't come to the altar and never be seen, that's why I tell us, especially as leaders. If we never see you come up here, you ain't that holy. <laughs> Preachers and whoever you are, if we never see you up here in a service, I'm not talking about no noonday prayer because you still protecting your image, but I'm talking about on a Sunday morning or Wednesday night. If you never come to the altar, ever, ever, in 365 days, in 52 weeks, we never see you unless unless the pastor call a corporate altar gathering. Uh oh. Come on now. We never come to the office. Ever. Good to see you, man. Amen. 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 She Amen. 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 I just made somebody mad on this set. Hallelujah. I don't care. You'd be just fine. You'd be just You should have been right up here. Lord, help me. I'm not going to deal with it tonight. I'll turn you over to the Lord. Amen. I'm not going to deal with that too. Not in the house of God. Not going to deal with flesh in the house of God. Amen. 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 The devil is a liar. Yes, he, is. he don't win any attacks on Monday night. He most certainly ain't going to win on, on the church right Amen. 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 I don't just stand on a camera. I stand in person. Yes, Amen. Yes, I uphold what's right in person. Yes, Praise the Lord. Because see the enemy, the enemy, he he wants to, he wants to, uh, what is that, two Sundays ago, I preached to y'all about courage. Mm -hmm. He wants to discourage mm -hmm. the people. Mm -hmm. That includes coming to the altar. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That includes crying out to God in the front of people that need to cry themselves. <laughs> See, you need courage to be real, praise God, with yourself. That takes courage. And when you care about what other people think and what they're going to say, that shows lack of courage. The Bible said that we are to come boldly. Hallelujah. I feel my help now. See, I had to address that little spiritual demonic attack in the air, but this attack is over now. Now I can flow in the Holy Ghost. That's the part of having power and authority in the Holy Ghost. You can't be afraid to confront 
unclean spirits. And you can't be afraid to adjust temperatures in the atmosphere. Because we have a, watch this, we have a bullish voice. Yes, we think we got authority. Wow. Wow. We think because we can look mean and ugly, we think we got power to put the devil on the run. Wow. But the devil is a master manipulator. Yes, you can't intimidate him with ugly looks and fake power. Yes, sir. You literally have to have authority. And you don't have to raise your voice. Sometimes you don't even have to say it and use your voice. Just walk in the room. And unclean spirits is supposed to get the message. The Bible clearly tells you you wrestling out against flesh and blood. Why y'all still? Mm. Yes, Amen. Why y'all still have these ungodly feelings towards people? Amen. In church, in your family, on your job, I can't stand up. Why are you still talking like that? Who on your job that you just can't stand, and you got all this Holy Ghost power? I can't get no help in here. I'm going to the text. Don't worry about it. He's teaching already. See? Who, who in your family you still got issues with? Who in church? We shout and we look bucket. Do you truly love everybody that is worshiping with you? See how quiet y'all are? I'm not impressed by your prayer life when you can't walk in love. Your prayer life is no good when you can't get up from your knees and walk in the fruit of the Spirit. Amen. Coming to church, being faithful, being dedicated. I'm here when nobody is here. But are you walking in the fruit of the Spirit? So and so, you ain't as faithful as I am. See, I know you're walking in the fruit because you're talking like that. Right. You're comparing your works to somebody else's. Uh oh. And I, I can't get no help. And the Bible teaches us that we don't supposed to do that. Whatever you do, do it as unto the law. Not do it to outdo another or do it to show up the lack of another. That's how it is. The story of the Jesus taught about the, the the I'm not going there. I'm going back to Revelation three. But that's see when the Lord is leading you. He he the Holy Spirit brings up word and scriptures to to make reference of what He's speaking. That's how the Lord works. That's why you gotta have the word in. You. So when 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 the Holy Ghost is speaking to you, this is how you know when it's emotionalism, flesh, when it's the Holy Ghost. Because when the Spirit is speaking, he makes reference to the Scripture. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. When it's flesh and when it's emotionalism, you make reference to the situation that you need to handle in practice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, but the Holy Ghost, when he speaks, he makes reference and mention of the Word because the Word is the first and the last yes. say. There is no resolution outside of the word. There is no solution. There is no answer outside of the word. Your opinion don't matter. How I feel, that don't count. That's right. Huh? There's a scripture that says that they agreed to work for opinion. Yes, sir. 
Some started in the morning. Some started around nine. Some started at lunch. Some came at the tail end of the day. And they all got a penny. And the ones that was out there all day had some issues. Actually, the one that made the deal had an issue with the man that owned the vineyard. And he went to him and complained and said, hold up here, this is not right. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is labor slavery. We've been out here all day working in the, in the heat and the hot sun and these came at the end of the day and when it's time to get paid, everybody got the same pay. And the man said, uh, calm down, brother. I do thee no harm. Did you not agree with me? For a penny a day, you were in a group. Matter of fact, you were the representative for the man that came at the end. Oh, have mercy. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah to God. Since you the one that always got something to say, you the one that got to always open your mouth. And you are the one that made the deal. like some of us always want to run something and then at the end when it's time to give an account you got something to poke your lip out about you can't say nothing I'm talking to every last one of y'all and the ones that watch and you that type you always got to know all the details you always got to be nosy now, 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 now. Why are you doing all this complaining? You the one agreed to the pen. Because we always want, we always want to make decisions based upon our feelings. And we don't see the whole thing through. We don't count up the costs. We agree, watch this, to a penny because we making a decision that's going to benefit us right now, not later on. See? And when you consider later on and not just right now, you count up the call and you won't sell yourself so cheap. And you won't complain when you get your recompense. That's why the Bible said, don't be anxious for nothing. But in prayer, supplication. See, in prayer, God will tell you this ain't yours. God will tell you this is not my will. God will tell you that ain't your house. That ain't your car. That ain't your husband. That ain't your wife. Preach, Pastor. In prayer, supplication, you will get the truth. Why y'all want to say something about it? Spouse. I see some change in your prayer. Now, I know which one it is. I ain't going down tonight. Yeah. But you need to yes. you need to you need yes. to get it together. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Ain't my fault you've been lied to. Amen. And that's as far as I'm going now. Amen. Because I ain't gonna keep getting attacked but by your eyes. Amen. Looks ain't gonna keep coming after me. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Because I'm not that guy. I'm the one that will tell the truth and don't care who don't like me. <laughs> I can tell y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm that guy. Yes. God gives me courage. Give me boldness. Yes. That's why we quit being silly men and silly women. Amen. Laid with divers lust. Yes. But one thing the spirit of lust will do, the spirit of lust will get you out there and leave you out there. I guarantee you, lust, I've never seen lust with a broom in his hand. I've never seen lust with a mop in his hand. Say, I'm going to help you clean up this mess that I called you to make. Pretty fast. I've never seen lust with a dust rag and, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a can of pledge. Wow, this is good. That's why all of y'all lazy folk, you got lust in you. You don't want to do nothing. You just want to sit and look cute and look handsome. You got lust on you. Because lust is lazy. Up until the point that it wants what it wants. Now all of a sudden you are energized to chase what you want. You ain't got enough strength. 
to obey God, but you got enough strength to chase pleasure. Teach, boy. Yes, sir. I don't like that. You ain't got no strength to pray and to fast and to deny your flesh, but you got all kind of strength to flirt. Mm -mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lord, they ain't ready for me. You sent me to do the word. They ain't ready. <laughs> they ain't ready. They thought they, see, I keep telling y'all, y'all ain't just come to the Bible study. We dealing with an epidemic. We dealing with a worldly infection. We dealing, we dealing with a Laodicean church spirit. And you can't be cute when you're dealing with an epidemic. Your immune system needs to be strong. Yes, yes, yes Lord. Yes. Yes. Because every time you inhale, you get infected. Y'all not hearing me. Y'all not hearing me. Y'all not hearing me. That's what causes us to be quiet on issues that we need to cry out against. This is why we become so quiet and passive when we see sin in the church and we see sin in our families and we see sin on our job. We sit there as if we are blindfolded because you have been inhaling the wrong stuff. Our preachers are infected. Prophets are infected. Evangelists are infected. Apostles and whoever else you call yourself, you are infected. When you can't speak against what God is against, you have, you have been desensitized. Your conviction is caused. You are disconnected from the conviction of the Holy Ghost. Because there's no way that the Holy Ghost can be living in you and you sit there with your lips in. Because the Holy Ghost is dominus, it is power. And it will not let you sit there and compromise what God said is wrong. Yes, let him put you out. Yes, let him not call you back. Yes, let him not invite you back. Yes, so what? Yes, let him break up with you. So what? Well, I'm preaching to thousands of people. Right? Y'all gotta remember yes, that. Yeah. So what? Yeah. They moving out. Let them leave. Yes. He ain't mad no way. Let them leave. Y'all right. say right. Hallelujah, God. Shaggy is still a sin. That's right. That's right. Oh, we ruin this. If you sleep in the same bed, That's they ain't gonna ruin it. Right. Amen. Uh oh. Amen. Walking around with nothing on, trying to seduce. <laughs> And entice each other. You more than roommates. That's right. Yes. Do I therefore become y'all in? No, sir. No, sir. No, Not at all. Soft churches are saying about Jesus. Our Jesus was not weak and no one. Jesus didn't play. Jesus be walking, you follow him, he'll stop in his track, turn around, and rebuke you. Yes. 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 And if you had a problem with it, he'd tell you to go home. Knowing what day it is, but you act like you, you right. don't know what day it is. That's real. That's right. 
And we 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 all bullies. We but then when it comes to when it comes to when we need to be strong, we become wimps. Yes. 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 The saints of God don't owe me no wealth. No. No, 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 sir. See, but see, we need to be sympathetic. That. Mm, that's right. Because we listen to somebody who said, it don't take all that. Uh, you don't have to be radical and all this. And then when you're radical to them, yeah. you, right. you, you fight over old PZ man <laughs> that was cheating on all three of them. Oh my God. <laughs> say that. Got, got kids by all of you. Fight somebody in the club because they stepped on your ugly shoe. Yes. Come on, sir. Somebody, somebody, somebody spills a beer on your arm, and you go into a bar fight. Right. Yes. Good. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Yes. You talking? Got dudes fighting over a girl and cheating on the bobo. Uh -huh. He's going to prison for killing the other guy, and then she cheat with a new man. Right. Yes. How smart is it? That's right. Come on. I ain't fighting on no woman. No, sir. Right. That's right. No, sir. If she bowled up a cheat, have it. That boy, right. Come right. right. get her. Hurry up. Amen. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Well done. That's right. Ratio. Seven women, one man. Right. Yes. We got options. Right. Yes. One. Okay. Amen. Yes. Amen. We got options. Yes. That's right. Which equals one choice. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yes. yes. We don't have to. We don't have to put up with disrespect. That's right. We got options. Amen. That's right. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Since y'all won't say nothing, not because you know why. I mean, because in a lot of our churches, it's predominantly women. Mm -hmm. So you ain't gonna jump off of that. Because right. that's, right. that's the truth. Yeah. Now, if we had more men here, we wouldn't. We wouldn't be able to hush them up. That's right. I'm talking about single men. The married men can't say nothing. But single men, we had we had about 25 single men here tonight. They would have been clapping and, and boosting me on. Stay right there, Pastor. Because they know it's the truth. Women don't like to hear that. This is why, especially in our culture, I'm out here now, I'm out here help you. Especially in our culture, our black women have no room to be ugly. That's right. And arrogant. Right. And picky. Yes. When you are in competition with other women uh -huh. to get to that one man. That's right. That's right. Because That's right. <laughs> those who are not homosexual mm -hmm. and those who are not in prison, right. you really ain't got too many that can pick you. That's right. This, this, yes. this, this is the harsh reality. Yes, we don't like it, but it's the truth. This is why adultery is so popular. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Somebody sharing a man. Yeah. That's right. But he ain't going to leave his wife to be with you. Because right. he got too much to lose. Amen. So what he's doing, he's playing. I'm preaching, boy. God using me tonight. I know. I, 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 I see all this. All this is in the land of the city church. That's what makes it lukewarm. Because we we doing this stuff and we think it's okay. Because uh, every now and then the Lord still uses. Yeah. Well, I, I got I got a word for that too. Is it the Lord using you or are you using the Lord's gift? Wow. Because wow. right. if the Lord uses you, knowing that you operate in willfully sin, then what is what is wrong with sin? Period. Now, I don't expect you to jump, don't expect you to shout, don't expect you to holler, I don't expect you to say, stay right there, teach pastor, and all of that. Because when you are in this equation that I'm talking about, you have, you should have nothing to say but out and Lord forgive me. Amen. 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 It's the truth. But yet, a lot of our women are rather sit up in the church. But a preacher is preaching to your emotions, telling you you all that. You don't have to sell. <laughs> and what they're doing, they manipulate you to keep coming back to him because he needs your money. Yes. Well, that, that, 
Oh, it's a proof of fact. It's a proof of fact. When they go to seminary, they teach them. You can look it up. You ain't got to believe me. When you go to seminary, one of the courses that they take is to keep keep the women single. Because women are predominantly, they make up, they make up the majority of the congregation. And they're givers. And without a man, they'll give it all. Without a man saying, hey, whoa, we ain't giving up, we ain't giving up preaching all that money. All you gotta do is make the shout, prophesy, emotionalize. I'm serious. So y'all, y'all, y'all get mad at me. I don't care. You don't get mad at Jay-Z when he call you outside your name. You don't get mad at all of these rappers that's calling you all kind of names and you're shaking it to the east or the west, but then you want to get mad at me for telling you the truth. You get mad at me for telling the, the women you, in a lot of cases, in a lot of places, you're being played. You ought to, you ought to, you ought to see yourself better than that. You ought to know your worth in God, not in people, not in somebody's compliment towards you, not in what somebody said you look cute in. Well, well. Good. Hallelujah. Yeah, they complimented you. You look cute. But what is their lustful mind saying? Right. Right. See, y'all not hearing what I'm saying. Y'all not hearing what I'm saying. Boy, some of you, you can't move a flinch. You can't even move an inch. You, I ain't seen you smile since I started teaching. You know why? Truth hurt. Oh, you think you all that? I never said that. That's right. what you think. Right. But I do know this. I'm not going to sit in the lobby. That's right. Amen. Thank you for your faith. I'm a pastor. Right. I, hear other, I hear pastors talk. Yes. I be in the business. Y'all know I do. I be in the, in the company of different meetings and things. And when I hear certain things, I, I glean just enough to educate myself so that I can come back and warn y'all. That's why they get mad at me on Monday night because I'm exposing a lot of them old riff rats. Amen. Oh, real, they get mad. Real. But you ain't raising no pumps. Amen. Good old, good old, good old mother, mother, y'all. See, 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 see. That's why. That's why we gotta keep y'all around here. Y'all see the same. Y'all, we gotta keep y'all around here. We gotta protect y'all. Y'all are precious cargo. You, y'all, y'all, precious commodity. Yes. 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 You see, we, we think I see the same a rough around the edges, and they may be, but they've been through a lot. They've been through so much that if they tell you about it, your little head goes. <laughs> Then you're going to look at them like, and y'all still here? You still in your 70s? <laughs> huh? Are you? Oh, well, well, we got it. My bad. We got a couple of, we got a couple of young ones, but the rest of them, they've been through. Let's talk to them. They'll tell you. Even the young ones, she, she been through some things. <laughs> That's what they call them, good young. Yeah, <laughs> y'all pray for me. But but just talk to talk to them. There's a lot of wisdom sitting over here. There's a whole lot of wisdom sitting over here. If some of these young women will listen to some of these seasoned women, they, 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 they can save you some years on your life. They can save you some money. Now, can they use a little season? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> well, see, when they get to a certain age, they think they can. Yeah. I had an old man tell me one time, oh, man, I'm, I'm 75, I'm 80 now. I say whatever I want to say. Whoa. I done earned my key. Whoa. I done put my time in. Whoa. I said, hold up here, friend. <laughs> you still go to hell. That's a phrase in hell. I can tell you that. <laughs> you can't just go and cut your mouth, say whatever you please, and belt you go to bed. Nah. 
Huh? You can't be ordering people around and bossing people around because you're old. No, sir. Somebody will leave you right in that little detention town. Because if you pretend to live, you're going to get older. Yes, that's right. Yes. Oh, my. Yes, and being mean don't make you no, useful in that right. I can't get no help. God ain't going to beautify you with meekness and salvation when you're mean and ugly and, right. and being old and, and being abused. If you ain't ever worked in nursing homes and hospitals right. and any type of uh, nursing aid or you know, health care, you ain't met me. No, so That's right. right. No, so right. Not at all. <laughs> That's right. Yes, Lord. You ain't never been cussed out. Oh, yes. you, until you get cussed out by somebody who might have come to go. That's the truth. That's the truth. Woo-wee. You cleaning them. Yes. And they cussing you out. Yes, What's yes. taking so long? You had to went to the bathroom. If you had to told somebody you had to go, you wouldn't have to wait on that. You ain't never been through that. You ain't never helped. You ain't never had to work. You ain't never had to do none of that kind of work. You had been abused. In that capacity. Now, you may have experienced abuse, but not that way. No, sir. The more the more bones that hit you. Yes, yes they will. And them bones hurt. Yes, sir. Yes. So they help you, Lord. Know, that's great bones, boy. You try to pick them up, put them in a wheelchair. Yes. Ooh. They strong. Get your hands off me. Yes. Like yes. yo, man. Thank God for the law. Yes, sir. You tell the truth. Amen. Mm-hmm. I think it's I think it's pill pill by about time. Yes. Yes. The time you can go in that match. Yes. yes. Huh? Yes. Come on. That's what they do. Tell the truth. All right, then. Y'all don't like my teaching. Let's go. My time's about up. It's the truth. See, we don't, we don't, we don't like. I'm going back to my point, so don't, don't thank y'all off the hook. Okay. And so they teach in the seminary. Keep. Women in the church. Embrace the homosexuality community because they got the money. <laughs> because they are categorizing men who act like women with the women. That's right. Since you want to act like one, we don't categorize yes. you like yes. I can't get no help. Yes. Yes. I can't get no help in here. Doing good. Mm-hmm. Even the ones that act like men, yes. mm-hmm. women, That's right. they still going to put you in the category with the women. That's right. Because right. at the end of the day, you're still a woman. That's you, just, right. you just like what you like. Yes. Okay. That's right. Just, just keep bringing the money. What you do when you leave here, that's between you and God. <laughs> okay, y'all just said that. Hallelujah to God. What do you mean? You, you're supposed to be the watchman of my soul, and, and that's your attitude towards my sin? Right, right, right. Oh, excuse me, sir, ma'am. Did you forget that you read in the Bible that you got to give an account? That's right. That's right. That's right. Hey. See, see, pastors are different. We don't just have to give an account for the deeds that is done in our life. Right. We also got to give an account for what y'all do and don't do by teaching y'all and living a life before you. So we got to give an account twice in that department. So if you live a certain life based upon a life that I'm living that ain't pleasing to God, then I'm responsible Amen. for being a bad influence on you. Amen. Right. Not just what I do in my personal life. That's, right. That's why the Bible says, them, them, that, them that are responsible, them that are teachers, mm-hmm. going to be judged with a strict judge. Yes. Right. You cuckoo in the head if mm-hmm. you decide to be a pastor and ain't called. Right. 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 
something is mentally wrong with you. That's a fruit of mental illness. I can't get no help. Well, I believe. Okay, go on out there. Go on out there. Go on out there those way. Go on out there. Go on, go on out there. Go on out there, Lamont Sanford. Go on out there.
They don't like that kind of place. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. All clothes ain't for us. That's, That's right. It we is. Just, we it just is. don't supposed to be putting on this. That's right. Yes. No matter how cool it looks, no matter how nice it is, no matter how, no matter how much it show you feel. That's right. That's right. Oh boy. No matter how much you are digging the color scheme, all clothing was not made for Christians. That's right, it was not. Well, we ain't got no clothes for Christians because you ain't made none. That's right. That's right. Amen. How do you expect the world to create clothes to, for you when they are not of you? Amen. Amen. <laughs> the world loves them their own. So anything that the world creates, they ain't created for the church no way. That's right. That's right. That's right. The style and the design, they make them clothes for you and me. That's right. They made them for them. Yes. 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 And then we go out and buy their clothes and wear them to church. And talk about God ain't in the clothes. You only say that because you want to wear it. That's right. And you don't want nobody to say that to you, so you put God's name in it, and God's name is supposed to make you back off. <laughs> God's name is supposed to make you leave me alone. Uh-oh. You think you're slick, don't you? You ain't slick. You think you're smart, think you're manipulative. It ain't, it ain't, you ain't, you ain't that manipulative. Cause I just pulled your car. See, 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 you. boy, I tell you, good thing we got some warm weather. Cause some of us have been shivering right about now. But <laughs> a cold day in Georgia. That's the old saying, though. Huh? Well, South Carolina, Alabama, wherever you are, Florida. All of them are hot. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Hot. Yes. Woo, Lord. Yes, it is. I mean, we 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 feel it pretty good, but yeah. can you imagine being down for the south, for the for the down you go? It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Yes, sir. Can you imagine being in uh, Mexico or Texas or oh, yes. Ooh, Arizona? We. Woo! Yeah. Arizona, right? Mm. 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 Hundred and some degrees. I know, right? I'm gonna burn it up. <laughs> Hundred and some degrees. Yeah. Index humidity. Yeah. No, no, no. We are complaining about seventies, man. Huh? Yeah. Man, time fly by when you having a good time. Now watch this. Y'all get it in there? Thank you, sir. Yes. Trying to help you. Thank you, Lord. So keep them single. Mm -hmm. Keep them single. Mm -hmm. Embrace the LGBTQ. My Lord. Embrace them. That's right. They embrace them. It's the house of the law. God loves us all. <laughs> he died for us all. Exactly. See, they won't let me come. <laughs> they have put me out. <laughs> exactly. He died yes. that you might be free yes. from what you want us to accept. Yes. Oh. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. The blood already was shed. So you don't want to waste the blood, do you? Right. No blood washes. We don't have to, to accept that means the blood don't work no more. But since the blood still works, Thank 
will be saved. Show your teacher what it's like to be holy. If she ain't saved, we're all over. If he ain't saved, I can let you. If he ain't saved, we're all over. That's right. That's right. I'm going to be holy. Good God. I'm going to win my name. Yes, sir. I'm going to let him continue to watch me go to church. Amen. Hallelujah. Be to and when I leave, hallelujah, I'm leaving some prayer behind me. Amen. Hallelujah. To God. They don't even know it, but I'm speaking the word Amen. over the house. I'm speaking the word over the whole street. Amen. My whole street going to be saved. Who ain't saved? Who get saved? You may not have to come here, but you're going to go somewhere. God gonna plant you somewhere, Amen. and you gonna flourish. You gonna grow. You gonna blossom, and I look to see you in glory. Whoever goes first, so we have to we have to uphold. That's right. The standard. That's right. Hallelujah. We 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 can't afford to compromise. That's right. Yes, sir. We'll lose it all. Yes, sir. Starting with the glory. Amen. Starting with the anointing. Amen. 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 Take the car. I don't care. I don't care. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Man, I, I don't know. I pay too much for this. Amen. This is only cost too much. I tell my shot. This is authority when God talks to me. How do you do this God? How do you do this God? You don't know how many times I have to cry to get this authority. I'm a man to hold my peace to keep this authority. Watch this. Had power to retaliate, but had authority to hold my peace. I just that. Y'all don't understand how that works. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. Because at the end of the day, authority rules over power. You can have power to do a thing, but not be authorized. Y'all ain't saying that. He's moving his way around. All over the world. He's moving. 
moving his way around. God is taking, God is taking charge. Y'all don't see it? He's taking charge. He's taking charge. Even in the church, even in the church, even in the church, he's taking charge. All he's doing is moving the man out the way. Amen. He's doing right away. You try to become me. You got to go. <laughs> People follow you more than me. Uh -uh, you got to go. They done made a God out of you. You done became my idol. I got to take my throne back. See, he, 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 the devil. he gives man
start talking about persecution and drinking of the blood and eating of my flesh. Man, this is capitalism. I didn't sign up for this. That's nasty. Uh oh. So you call it, uh oh. Uh oh. So you call it covenant nasty? You call it following Jesus nasty? Because you you heard it from the cops. See, see that? You can be that close to Jesus and still listen. That's right. Come on. But as long, watch this, if he was turning the water into wine, mm -hmm. yeah. as long as he was feeding 5,000 men, I kind of put in the church, right. fish, five loaves of bread, mm -hmm. he was opening up eyes and mm -hmm. stopping deaf ears. See, everybody, everybody wants something. Most of these crowds are people that want something. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And they get it what they want, not what they need. That's right. That's right. Amen. So the churches that, quote unquote, are not considered mega or crowded or packed, they the ones doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> this is why the trend is growing. If it's working for Big Bethel down there, mm -hmm. if it's working for All Welcome Cathedral, mm -hmm. let's go dark, let's, let's go dress down, mm -hmm. let's wear jeans mm -hmm. and, and tights. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's go with the crayon here. Let's go get our piercings back. As a matter of fact, go ahead and stop by the tattoo parlor while you're at it. Let's go back and take on what he delivered us from. Free the trunk. I will go back and hook up with my ex. <laughs> because they're preaching a watered down grace gospel. You already been forgiven. You know, see, you, 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 see, we, 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 we trying to perform when the Lord has just already done it. He, all you got to do is just receive it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That goes against scripture all day long. Jesus even said, if you're going to follow me, you must first deny yourself. Take up your cross. You call that performance? And follow me. Let me tell you why he tells you to deny yourself and take up your cross. Because in following me, I'm going to lead you to some places, man, power, that you ain't going to want to go. I'm going to give you something to do that you ain't going to want to do. But see, I ain't got to worry about fighting with you because you already been denied. And that cross is a reminder of you, not me. Wow. Wow. See, see, I ain't talking about that little, that, little, that little dangling thing around your neck. That ain't no cross. That ain't no cross. That's an accessory. That's right. Amen. 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 That's something. That's something that you put on right. to add to your outfit. Amen. That's all. Right. Well, well, well. Yes. We 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 we're not carrying crosses. We're wearing accessories. Mm -hmm. And so Jesus said, "The cross is for you. It's a reminder of you. It's a reminder to you what I've done for you. That's so right. before you murmur, complain about doing anything for me, uh, look at the cross." Amen. Amen. Ooh, boy, <coughs> Before you complain one time, uh, give me. Take a look. That cross you carry, that's yours. <laughs> a tag you read. <laughs> See, y'all don't like this. Uh, uh, your turn. We are raising 
we've seen a, a, a generation of people raised with no power, mm -hmm. no authority, That's right. no, no insight, That's right. no experience with God because they refuse to go through anything. That's right. Because they've been taught, you don't have to. That's right. You've been taught sweat with victory. Mm -hmm. God, God already does it all. All you gotta do is <laughs> all you gotta do is walk in it. Walk in it. Where is it? The devil ain't gonna just let you just walk in something. You gotta have power. You gotta have authority. You gotta have proof that it belongs to you. Wow. You gotta have more than just a decree and a declaration. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Talk that. I've never been to a prayer conference. Ever. But I get results when I pray. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. And you got folks who go to college and they, they can't get the results. So I'm trying to figure out what, what the problem is. Right. I've never been to a prophetic conference. But when the Lord speaks to me through me, then you come to pass. Amen. Amen. So that shows you all of that stuff is it really necessary. Right. Or is it just necessary for you to just live a yielded life to God and He'll use you in whatever way He sees fit? How about that? Right. And quit making these preachers rich and quit and quit being fooled and being bewitched to think that they have some special power. You go into a prayer conference so somebody can teach you how to pray. Uh, excuse me, I've never been to one of these and get results. Yes, Some of you have never been to a prayer conference and yet you get results when you pray because the Bible talks and teaches you how to pray. First of all, the Bible tells you we know not what to pray for as we are. So how are you an expert on prayer? Yes, what secret, what revelation do you have? And, and, and another thing. How are you an expert on being a prayer warrior when the commandment was given to all of us? Yeah. Man ought to always to pray and not to pray. What makes you so special? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We are so gullible. Church folk are so gullible. I'm not trying to say we. I'm not really talking about, talking about you know. But we are so weak minded. We will believe and follow anything. Because we don't want to go through. Just in the Bible, it's the simple way. Just follow the Bible. Why are you traveling all over the country going to these stupid conferences? I said, right. it's stupid. Yes. And you got a Bible in your possession. You ain't got enough time. Now, you can't make time to read the scripture that teaches you the truth about what you are chasing after. Now, you would rather blow money in a hotel driving hundreds of thousands of miles to go hear somebody who claims to have the secret and the answer to prayer when prayer is in your Bible. Just stupid, 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 stupid. I'm talking about the situation. You call me stupid, you can't beat me. Sit down. You scared in front of demon. I know you ain't got nothing for this. I ain't gonna we ain't gonna I ain't gonna you see what I'm saying? I ain't gonna entertain that. Go for my son. I don't hear women, so I can't be talking to y'all. I'm talking to these knuckleheads. I ain't scared of neither one of y'all. I don't care what you know, what you got. And I ain't calling you stupid, but if you keep doing stupid things, you're going to just. That's real. That's real. That's real. That's real. That's stupid. Then you try to justify it. People try to justify it. I'm investing in the money. Investing? That's stupid. Yes. You want to invest into the gift and the ministry or the call, read your Bible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But not a fast, possibly. You, don't, you won't do that. Yeah. But you'll let somebody wipe 
They got nasty sweat on you, spit in your face. How can you release a prayer mantle on somebody's life when the Bible tells you you ought to always pray? So you won't faint. The Bible tells us pray without ceasing. What prayer mantle? Where's the mantle? Where's the mantle coming from? I don't expect you to holler, jump, no, push me, because you can't. You know, when you're a part of the community, you can't support the true one. Mm -hmm. We deceive. We desensitize. Mm -hmm. Prayer revival. What? What's that? Why don't you get a prayer life and be revived? In prayer. That's what a prayer life is. Get a prayer life. How are you going to put on a prayer revival if you ain't got a prayer life? What's a prayer revival look like? It looks like this. Get a prayer life, get in prayer, and God will revive you and keep you revived. How about that? Simple as that. Ain't nothing deep. Ain't got to have no promise. Ain't no registration fee. Ain't we got to go out and buy a bunch of food. Ain't no, ain't no session. Practice the basic. Your basic instructions before leaving earth. Bible. You don't need no conference. We need to have a conference. You need to stop being lazy and do the basics. How about that? You can have enough. If you got a problem with that, go to another church. Where they have all these conferences and you still ain't growing. We ain't conforming to that mess. We're going to teach you right. Now you were part of a ministry that's getting results. Seeing miracles, signs, and wonders with no conference. Ain't no conference in that. No prophetic conferences up in here. And yet we see God speak a word and it come to pass. And we see the fruit and the manifestation. No conference. We ain't paying no joke of no three thousand dollars to come in and lie to you and shout you and dance you and prophesy lie to you and tell and then a familiar spirit would be right once or twice with a broken thought is right twice. Right. Yes, it is. <laughs> and that don't mean you in touch with God. It just means you broke and you and, and whatever time it is, you right twice. Amen. Whatever whatever time. You broke on, you're going to be right twice. That is not your confirmation. You right with God. I can't get it on that. Oh, wow. Some folks are just broke and they right twice a day. That is so good. I don't care what y'all say. See, it's true. It's true because people think that. I'm here to tell you. God is right all the time. Yes, he is. Yes. And if you just listen to him, you will do what's right. Amen. You will be right. Yeah. That's right. Simple. Yeah. You know why these conferences are so successful? Mm. Because they prey on lazy church people. Yes. Most of them folk that are packing the condoms out, they don't practice basic principles in their daily life. Yes, sir. They are, they are rather paid to go to a setting and a meeting. And I'm going to tell you what it's all about. It ain't about prayer. It ain't about the prophet. It's about who's on the Who's on the on the on, on the flyer? It's about the celebrity so-called that's going to be there, and they just want to be in the midst because they have been psyched out to believe that this celebrity preacher got something special that they got to be there in order to get. And yet, God has given them shepherds and pastors after His heart, and they can't glean nothing from them. A follow a preacher across the country but can't follow your pastor across town. 
Pastor, go preach at another church, you busy. You ain't got time. But a prophet in another state, you take off work. Uh oh. I, I, I can't get no help in here. You, 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 you will take days you can't afford to take. You need to have them behind at work. So you pay your bills. <laughs> Boy, this is good teaching. Yes. If I'm stepping on your toes, we'll see your toes next week. It's something though. It's crazy. Yes. Yeah. Folk, folk won't even come to church, <coughs> but they'll travel to go and do whatever they want to do. Yeah. I'm only in Cook Cross Town. Yeah. Where life is. Yeah. Where the bread is. And it's fresh. Yeah. It ain't stale. It ain't poisonous. Yeah. It ain't infected. But you won't even come and get the bread. And he tells you, he tells you that he can give you pastors out of my heart and they shall feed the flock of God. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We don't want that. Thank you, God. We don't want that. If I was in the world, if I was in the running game, I hear the Lord say, Father, y'all, you can do, you can sow a 20 mile seed tonight. Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bring that Burger King money up here. <laughs> huh? And then they'll manipulate, they'll twist you, they'll put pressure on you. Now, how dare you go and you cook out God's money? You know God is speaking to you. You know He's pricking your heart. You know it. Huh? Come on now, find of it. I got one. Where's it? Where's it? I'm, 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 I'm waiting on you. As to say, as soon as you get up here, we can go. Mm -hmm. Many of you been here from day one. Well, a few. One, one or two of you have been here. Well, only one been here from day one, but some of you been here longer than that. You ain't never seen me run no mess like this. You ain't never seen me get up here and talk about a sacrifice offer. First fruit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. And you never saw me bringing nobody in here to please you. That's right. Lie to you. Have a money. You ain't never seen a money line up there. Never. That's right. Never. Yeah. Now, you've seen a few clowns, but they were visitors. But you ain't never seen nobody walk in and slam money on the altar. <laughs> Y'all don't like that. I said what I said, not that what I said. Clown. You ain't never seen that. You ain't never seen that. You ain't never seen the, the gifts operate out of order to try to manipulate you. And to seduce you and entice you to give and, and, and all of that. Nope. 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 And if all of that other stuff is so true and it works, how come you've never seen it done here, but you've seen God's blessing? Yes. You've seen the hand of God? You've seen people bless. Yes. You've seen people talk principles yes. and work, yes. get their credit straight. Yes. Now they can buy whatever they want. Yes. You ain't seen no game running up in here. Yes. You see a pastor as an example to you, yes. a successful businessman. Yes. If those of you that want to get in business, you ain't got no excuse. Yes. Those of you that want housing, you ain't got no excuse. Yes. You want a new car, you ain't got no excuse. Yes. Because you done been taught all of these principles. Yes. And if you don't apply, that's why you ain't got no man's yes, that's right. That's right. But don't blame the church. That's right. We ain't run no game up in here. We don't have all these, these, these different offers. Tithe, tithe, offer, and then we bless, we give. As a church. 19 years. That's all you ever said. No super seed son. Pledge week. You didn't see that up in here. Hello. Y'all mighty quiet. Y'all should be shouting.
I can get up so much that I can't holler fit. But you know why you're so quiet? Because you done seen all this foolishness. Many of you done come out of that. And to come up in here and not see it, is this really real? You go ahead and pinch yourself, it's real. You ain't sleep, you woke. Huh? Ain't no yacht. I don't even touch the money. But you can't accuse me of stealing. That's right. A lot of them do. Yes. 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 They're getting caught with the bell and all that kind of stuff. Yes. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I step far away from the money. Right. All I know is I preach the word and the Lord deal with your heart. That's right. Let everything give that which is perfect yes. heart. You already know tired of this God. Yes. You already know you're full of brain and off. Yes, yes. And Joyce Washington ought not be the most faithful. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. And a bunch of genuine. That's right. Amen. Clanking and clanking and clanking. Don't forget the pain. Yes, sir. You got a job and you, 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 you put a clank in the, in the pain. Uh oh. You got about $500 worth of on. You win three hundred dollars and you put a change in the play. I'll teach you good. You, 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 hey, hey, hey! How dare the house of God go with? Amen. No, we ain't gonna do that. Uh uh. We ain't walking around with, with no thousand dollar bracelet. That's right. And you put a dollar in the play. That's right, man. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anybody gonna get that thousand? Gonna be the law. Right. Amen. I just will. I got, I got some braces back there that Zarya and Serenity made me. <laughs> I wear one of those. Amen. Amen. I'm not gonna let the house go away. No, I ain't gonna let the house go away. Amen. 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 Yes. Oh. I told, I, and I told this church, as long as God bless me, we ain't going nothing. Amen. Amen. Right. We ain't going under. Right. But guess what? Y'all are giving people. Amen. You're tithing people. Yes. Amen. You're down to our children. They're tithing. Yes. That's why the church is so blessed. Amen. But I, 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 I'm saying to you, you're blessed because you are a part of a blessed ministry Amen. and you obey God's word. And the blessing of the Lord makes you rich. Yes. Now, rich don't always. Change your mindset about what it is to be rich. Change your mindset from the world definition, the rich and famous. No, rich and faithful. The rich and faithful, that's what we are. The world calls it. The world calls it the rich and famous. The kingdom calls it the rich and faithful. The rich and faithful. And it's, watch this. And as long as he got it, we got it. Yes. So we rich. Uh -oh. yes. Yes. My God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches in glory. Yes. It is our Father that's rich yes. in houses and land. Yes. And because we are heirs and joint heirs, yes. we rich. So we all, or shall I say, our Father is rich. We have access to riches. Yes. Yes. <laughs> to his riches. Yes. So whatever we need, he supplies. Amen. He provides. You just stay faithful. Amen. So we are the rich and faithful. And why do you eat that day? Yes. You eat from your Father's riches. You don't have to have a limousine. That's right. He give you automobile. Yes. <laughs> he give you transportation. Yes. That's out of the rich. You don't need a chauffeur. It's more blessed to be able to drive yourself. That's right. That's true. Why do you want to depend on somebody to take you everywhere? Okay. That's right. I don't want to be sitting in the back of no car and a man pass out. Behind the wheel. 
I want to be able to be rich in health. So I can drive myself to the bank, or drive myself to the store, or drive myself to church, or drive myself wherever I gotta go. That's being rich.
Let him make it, God. Let him get to the end, Lord. He that endures to the end, the same shall be saved. We want to be saved. Give us enduring power. Give us enduring power. Give us the power to endure. No matter what comes or goes, help us to stand. I love you, Lord. We love you. Continue to pray. Oh, God, we pray for the sick and the shaming. Thank you for how you touch Benjamin Powell body. Thank you for how you touch Minister Hyder's body. Thank you for how you touch all the saints' body. Those that are sick in body. Those that may be grieving. We pray for our saints all over the world. Somebody lost a loved one. Somebody's going through. We pray for Bishop Washington, Lord. We pray for the Washington family. Powerhouse of the mirrors. Hallelujah to God. Lift them up tonight. Encourage our brothers and our sisters. How to time I shine. Yes, sir. Bishop Harry has gone on to be with the Lord. And he has received his eternal reward. But bless Bishop Washington. Hallelujah to God. Strengthen him, Lord. He loved his brother. Hallelujah to God. And we lift him up tonight. We pray for every loss of God. Family has lost no one. We lift him up tonight. Heal, deliver, set free. Comfort in the days ahead. We'll give you glory. Thank you for this word. Thank you for this assignment. We will continue in it, God, until you take us out and take us into the next assignment. Father, help us to be faithful. Help us to manage this well. That if we be faithful over a few things, you'll make us rule over many. We thank you. And we praise you. And we count it done. In Jesus' name. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. Come on and hear the Lord. And praise Hallelujah. We thank the Lord tonight for all of you. Thank you for your faithfulness and dedication. And thank you for having an ear and a heart to hear the word of God tonight. Amen. No matter how Sometimes the word of God can come strong, but God has equipped us to be able to receive it and hear it and handle it. Amen? Amen. He wants what's best for you. Amen. And he wants you, the Bible says he would not have us ignorant concerning Satan's devices. So he wants us to be informed and educated and have, have some know. Know that you know that you know. Amen. See, when you know something, it makes it hard for you to be deceived. When you don't know, you're more easy to be deceived. So God puts you in the know to protect you. So knowledge is protection. The right knowledge is protection. You gotta have the right knowledge. It's gotta be the right information. Okay? So thank God for the right information. Amen. Amen. Is we're gonna go ahead and get this in and out of the way. I've already given mine has been sent. Uh, thank God it's offering time. Amen. 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 God will the children give up, and the little soul shall be made fat. He said, Give and it shall be given unto you good measure. Press down, shake it together, and run it over. So he calls me. To give unto our bosom. Amen. Amen. And those that are watching, feel free to give at this time at dollar sign uh, DTWC Greensboro, the Liberty Worship of Greensboro. You can give. Amen. And we will make sure that that is received. Amen. And recorded. And we pray God's blessings upon. Each and every one, we thank you for your liberal giving. Amen. Amen. Thank you for your liberal giving. Amen. Amen. That's a blessing to be able to have people to give, and they ain't, they're not in your state. That's right. <laughs> but they believe in their church. Amen. They believe where they're being fed. They sold there. Amen. Amen. So it's, it's 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 good to be. Uh, Making an impact and an influence and 
and uh, that's what God is doing, amen, through the little temple, amen, and we thank God for each and every one. Of course, we know that uh, the church is open every Friday at 12 noon, so uh, we can't let the prayer die, amen. A praying church is a powerful church, a strong church, amen. Got to keep the prayer going. And so every Friday at 12 noon, if you're off or you're in the area, come on in and swing on through and pray and talk to God. Amen. 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 And then, of course, we'll be back on Sunday morning, uh, Sunday school at 9 30. And, of course, uh, uh, I think prayer started at 9 30. Sunday school started at 9 45. And then 11 o'clock, we will be going into our 11 a.m. worship experience. And we are excited about what God is doing, has done, and we are preparing for another worship experience. Amen? Amen. Please, let's keep all the people that are in prayer, need of prayer, let's keep them in our prayers. Please let's pray for the Washington family. Amen. Bishop Washington lost his brother. Amen. And so uh, uh, let's pray for Powerhouse and all of those that knew Bishop Harry Washington. Amen. That was his oldest brother. And we thank the Lord for his life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And there's so many others that that I lost loved one. Let's keep them in our prayers. Amen. Praise God. So that's all I have. Anybody have any more announcements? No? All right. So please be safe going home. Amen. Um, be aware of your surroundings. Watch out for yourself. Um, and uh, let's be safe so we can all come back. Amen. 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 We thank God for our live viewer, virtual audience. Come on, let's give God a praise.